Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And in this one, we are focusing on the mass law loon attacks we are seeing at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. We're going to start with a few Town Hall 10 replays, then we'll go to Town Hall 9. But really, this is something that I didn't think we'd, and it might change, but I didn't think we'd see this much, but the uh, Immoral Thieves versus Reddit Alchemy War uh, that we just witnessed, good job to Immoral Thieves pulling off the victory, by the way, uh, but this war had a lot of these attacks. I'd say possibly three out of four to four out of five of the attacks for Town Hall 9 were some kind of air attack. Uh, in La Lune, pretty much, was the only air attack that was used. There were a few hog attacks, but really this has been the go-to for Immoral Thieves, and it's been working out very, very well. Also at Town Hall 10, they're getting some good three stars, which we'll take a look at today. So with the update making other stuff that's not La Lune more powerful, such as dragons, pekkas, witches... Uh, we'd, you'd think we'd see a little bit more of those and maybe we're st we still have to wait and give it time. But for now, La Lune still seems to be king at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. Uh, today we're going to focus, like I said, on mass La Lune attacks, which is becoming more popular as opposed to a kill squad based attack. So these ones use uh, very minimal kill squads, typically no golems. Uh, just the heroes and some support troops to just get a small part of the base taken out and then uh, commit the rest of it with a mass air, uh, usually in featuring most of the spells and most of the troops. So right here we have uh, Boss Staff um, coming in here, drops the queen down to take out some defenses, create the funnel on one side. There's the jump, the king going in solo here. Um, he knows the CC, this isn't a fresh hit, of course, uh, so he knows the Lava Hound's not going to be much of an issue for the king, but the king does have to go through like an archer or two, and then right here, one swing away from getting that Inferno down, so you might think he's in some big trouble, because the queen is still up, there's still three air defenses left up, um, there, there's two Inferno Towers left up, really he did not get a whole lot, but he has so, much, uh, so many air troops, uh, so many spells that he's able to get the job done, uh, drops in these lava hounds, these balloons. That that one air defense is pretty deep into the base, so the, the balloons have a ways to go, but the, it's very central at the same time, which makes it very easy for the uh, the lava hounds to be tanking everything. So the balloons aren't getting targeted much. The queen, of course, nothing took her out at first, so that the pups have to take her out. Always a little bit risky, especially without the skeleton spell, but the job is done. Nonetheless, the queen does go down. It seems if you have enough lava hounds, it seems to work out most of the time because the pups, especially under a rage, will get her taken out eventually most of the time, that is. It's kind of a gamble, but pays off here. You can see, surprisingly, he has quite a few balloons left up. I think he even has one hound that did not pop. Uh, this base, of course, I don't think was maxed. Yeah, this base was not a max base, but it had high-level defenses, of course, max air defenses and stuff. Not a low-level base um, or a new Town Hall 10 by any standard. So still a very nice attack, and it just goes to show uh, air La Lune is pretty powerful. Um, nothing in this update nerfed it for Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10. And you can see, even despite the kind of hiccup at the beginning by not getting that Inferno, Still works out very nicely for the three star. Let's take a look at one more Town Hall 10, just going down one here for Cascazilla. And this one, again, not a huge uh, kill squad, very minimal. Uh, you can see people investing a lot in those balloons. That's the main thing. The more balloons, the merrier. He could bring uh, four Lava Hounds and drop down to like 22 balloons. But it tends to work better to have those extra balloons, especially when the air defenses are kind of in weird locations. Uh, so it comes in here with the heroes, just a few Valks to create the funnel. I think that was a pretty good choice, good investment uh, for the troop space. He wants to get the air defense and the Inferno Tower taken out. And we're really seeing people be creative at Town Hall 10, which is awesome to see. I love the creativity. Basically here, he's going to wall breaker the queen in to get that inferno tower taken out. The king going ahead, creating the funnel. We're seeing the king being used less as a um, as an important kind of asset and more of just creating the funnel for a free 
you know, a, a huge funnel, even getting that Tesla, the King can go for a long time on the outside of the base. So we're seeing the King play kind of a support role to help funnel the Queen into where she needs to go. Of course, the King had a bigger role on that last attack, but in general, the King's role has being diminished a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Um, tends to work out very nicely as it does in this attack because he gets the one air defense and the Inferno Tower, then just comes at this base heavy. Uh, balloons, Lava Hounds, the Haste, the Rage, the Heals are very common at Town Hall 10. Uh, they've kind of made their way in as an established spell. Now, right there, as soon as the Inferno goes down, he'll heal up those balloons because there are two Wizard Towers plus an Expo Archer Tower. Uh, but the Wizard Tower is the main thing, that splash damage on the groups of balloons, those clumped up balloons, they need that heal and uh, Cascazilla delivers there with the heal as soon as the Inferno goes down. Good investment. Plenty of troops for cleanup. I think there was a scaly spell at some point, probably for the queen, but there's some skeletons left up uh, as a result of it. So good stuff. Let's move on to some Town Hall 9s. Uh, starting with number 21, just going down one, their top Town Hall 9. This is Thief. And one way you can do this mass air attack is just do the zap quake on one of those air defenses. But remember the rule I always talk about. Um, at Town Hall 9, if you're using the zap quake, the air defense that you use the Zap Quake on can't be something that's a valuable anchor point. You don't want there to be a bunch of defenses that will no longer be tanked by a Lava Hound as a result of that air defense going down. But by Zap Quaking that one air defense by the Queen, you can see his, uh, his King and his Queen are already clearing out a lot of those defenses in the area. So there's nothing around there that's not going to be tanked now as a result of the air defense going down. And the three air defenses that he does leave up ensure that there's a nice little anchor for the Lava Hound at each point to tank for local defenses such as Wizard Towers, Archer Towers, Expos, and Teslas. The Queen did not quite go down, but he dropped in a Baby Dragon. Good adjustment there to make sure she goes down. Uh, the Lava Hound sitting in the corner there, not going to be an issue. This is a fresh attack, or a fresh hit, three star, as are all the Town Hall 9 attacks you're going to see today. So he did not know there was a Lava Hound, but it actually works out very nicely that there is. Uh, coming in with the Lava Hounds, the Balloons, pretty standard deployment, not a whole lot to comment on, just working his way around the base. He has one Lava Hound left, and I like the decision to not deploy it too early. You want it to get that flyby effect, so the Balloons going in on the same side as it get the benefit of the tanking, because oftentimes the Wizard Towers and Teslas will retarget onto the Balloons when the Lava Hound gets too far away. Uh, but perfect timing pops the last second, so he gets the pups for cleanup, and uh, the balloons at that point are just converging on the rest of these point defense. And just that archer tower in the corner, uh, bottom corner there, and that'll be it. Awesome attack. Um, has a heal spell and a poison to spare, so some nice swag spellage there. Good stuff by Thief. All right, two more. Uh, we have number 23 to take a look at, and then one more after that. This is uh, Unrau, Una, something. Uh, anyway, I uh, can't pronounce his name that well. I, I should just give up on names. I should just start ignoring them at this point because it seems like every video there's someone I can't pronounce. But maybe I should just try to learn names instead of taking the easy way out. I don't know. Regardless, though, this is another one of these attacks. Coming in with the king, the queen, another fresh hit, of course. And there's just that one air defense that's very local, easy to take out. The queen, of course, exposed. And just by luck, a Tesla farm, free for the pickings uh, for his queen to engage. She won't get that last Tesla, but she will uh, get the first two at least, which is just fine. Uh, before she goes down, here comes the lava hounds, here comes the balloons. And really the reason we're seeing this at Town Hall 9 and even Town Hall 10 is because Air defenses are being shifted either towards one side of the base or towards the outside. They're being put in non-traditional locations. You guys may have seen my last base destruction video in which we took a look at a kind of a standard Town Hall uh, 10 base, but that's becoming less common now in the uh, the war community. That's, that's a small 
bit of the actual community that participates in clan wars. The top level war community is just kind of a pocket of that. So I'm sure a lot of you are still seeing the uh, standard types of bases. But in general, as the kind of the trickle down effect uh, occurs and people start using the newer bases that have the air defenses towards the outside of the base or in weird locations, it makes them more accessible for these type of attacks because they're easily uh, they can be easily taken out by just the, the king and the queen, and that's pretty much it. Plus, the defensive queen typically is not too far from one of them. And even if she is not easily taken out, we with the mass air attacks, the pups typically get her, so you don't even have to get the queen. Really, you can just use your heroes, like we saw in some of the Town Hall 10 attacks, to take out just... Um, some good air targeting defenses like Archer Towers, Wizard Towers, uh, Teslas and Expos, and then like one or two air defenses and a possibly an, an Inferno Tower if we're talking Town Hall 10 and not even have to worry about the Queen and that'll, that'll get the job done for you just because the air defenses are very easily accessible. There tends to be a good spot on the base uh, most of the time where you can get some good value for a small investment. So that's really enabling these attacks to happen. Um, on this attack right here, you can see coming just for the queen and his queen will step up here and get some extra value, which makes it worthwhile. But he's leaving all four air defenses left up. So he has some faith in his uh, Lava Hound balloon deployment. And it obviously helps that the, the air defenses are kind of in these outlandish areas. Um, because he doesn't have to worry about his Lava Hounds popping as easily since they can be easily targeted, the air defenses can, by balloons. Just directly targeted the first defense, first line of defense, just drops balloons directly on them. So the Lava Hounds don't take as much punishment. Now there is a little bit more for the balloons to deal with because the air defenses are no longer central and the, the balloons will be targeted uh, because of that. But he has the heals, he has the hastes, he has the spells to take care of the balloons. So it all kind of works out. It all adds up to a three star. You have to consider a lot of different things in these attacks, like the longevity of your hounds, how much uh, damage your balloons are going to take as a result of the lava hounds not being in the best locations. Um, at the beginning, the best place to deploy your king and your queen and possibly a few baby dragons or wizards or whatever. A lot of things to take into account, but really... Um, there's a there's more room for error than we've probably ever seen at Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10. Um, of course, I'd like to see some kind of change in that regard, especially at Town Hall 9. But as long as this is what we're looking at, uh, you know, get these air attacks down if you're a Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 9 and uh, be able to use them. So hope you guys like the video. Hope this shed some light on kind of what we're seeing at Town Hall, uh, well, both these Town Hall levels and some of the top war clans. Works out very nicely with these air defenses in the non-standard location. So look for that. If you have it, these attacks work great. They even work great on standard bases in certain situations. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.